Hi guys, it's Sick Guru here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an IP camera that's on your network and put it onto your Hikvision NVR. So let's say it's not physically connected with an Ethernet cable to your NVR, it's somewhere else on the network. So for example, if it was plugged into a PoE switch and you wanted it to be connected to your NVR for recording and events, etc. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first let's get onto your computer. You're going to want to download Hikvision SADP tool if you haven't already. The link to that will be in the description below. So let's load up the software. Here it's going to show you all the different IP cameras and VRs that are connected to your network currently. So this is the IP camera that we're going to be adding today to my NVR. It's not been activated yet, so it's inactive. So you've got the default IPv4 address, you've got the default gateway. So for my network, my gateway is 192.168.0.1. So I want to make sure that my inactive camera has got that same gateway. And then as for the VP IPv4 address, you're going to want to make sure it's 192.168.0.1. Dot zero dot whatever number after that always make sure that the gateway number is the same as the IPv4 number so I'm going to tick on the camera that's inactive I'm going to create a password for it and click on activate so now that camera is activated after doing so, you can type in any security questions should you want to ever reset the password if you forget it. I'm not going to bother with that. So we need to now set up our IPv4 address. So it needs to be 192.168.0. Any number after that. As you can see, some of my IP cameras at the moment are set to quite a high address. The reason to do that is because the likelihood is that IP address hasn't been taken by anything else on the network. So for this example, I'm going to set it to 0 0.160. Then the gateway needs to be the same as my NVR gateway, which is 192.168.0.1. And then we just need to type in that password we just created to submit the changes and tap on modify. And that's done. As you can see, the changes are taking effect here. So now let's log on to our NVR web browser. So that's my address for my web browser. I'm going to type it into Internet Explorer. So you're going to want to log into your NVR. And we're going to go to configuration. We're then going to go to camera management. We're then going to go to IP camera. And then on whichever slot you want that camera going on to, and in my case it's going to have to be IP camera 8. That's the only one that's spare. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to tap on modify at the top. We're then going to want to change the adding method from plug and play to manual. And we're now going to type in that camera address that I just created. So that was 192.168.0.160. Everything there is fine. Then type in the password that you created for that camera. And confirm it again. That's all fine. Then click on OK. And that camera will now say online. It's currently connecting. Just give it a few seconds. If nothing happens, just refresh the page. And now, as you can see, that camera is now online. So if I go to my live view on my NVR, select that camera one, that is now online. If you want to make sure it's recording, go to configuration, go to storage, camera, select it from the drop down menu. So it was D8, camera eight. And as you can see, it's enabled and it's set to continuous record on every day. So then I know it's recording. 
And yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Simple as that. If you've got any questions or you need any further help, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll answer any queries you might have. But yeah, take care, guys. Bye-bye.